At this 3D printing lab at Colorado State University, scientists are designing a state-of-the-art helmet, part of a suit that allows paralyzed people to walk again. It took nearly 60 hours to print the customized liner for the helmet that holds electrodes in place. Those sensors detect brain waves, which command the exoskeleton to move. We printed in four sections and then tested various gluing methods and then sectioning to put it together. This is the actual first prototype. It's a painstaking process, spearheaded by an international research group called the Walk Again Project. Some of the things we needed were components that needed to be very quickly prototyped and made uh, and 3D printing was a great opportunity to do that. The Walk Again project is a chapter in an evolution of technology called brain machine interfaces. The Colorado made helmet was taken to Brazil in time for the World Cup kickoff, where it was attached to the exoskeleton body made in France. It took 125 people across six countries two years to create the bodysuit, which could offer new hope to large numbers of paralyzed patients. For the first time in their lives since they've been disabled, they've been able to stand up, walk and kick a ball and experience walking for the first time. A handful of companies are already selling exoskeletons to neurorehabilitation hospitals. Experts say that as the technology advances, the devices could become widely used within the next decade.